Well, great news. The Taylor Builders Edition guitars have come to the 300 series in the way of the 324 CE Builders Edition. We're excited to have it in our hands and show it to you today, so stick around. Hey, you're watching Alamo Music TV. My name is Chris McKee with Alamo Music Center in San Antonio, Texas. You can find us online at alamomusic.com. If you have your own local music store that you shop at but you'd like to support our channel, make sure that you head to our Teespring store. I'll put a link there and down below in the description where you can buy some of the shirts we design there and help support our ongoing channel here where we bring you all the news and reviews of the best guitars out there. So today we are looking at one of those very guitars, the new Taylor 324 CE Builders Edition. Now this was just unveiled at the 2020 Winter NAMM show, and it, it basically represents an expansion in the already existing Builders Edition collection from Taylor Guitars. Now we already did a video showcasing some of these guitars. If you haven't seen that, I'll put a link to that right up above. And that video was actually shot at Taylor's booth at the NAMM show. But we told you at the time that we were going to get these in store and do a more in-depth, a little bit more intimate uh, review for you of these guitars so you can really get a better idea of what's going on and hear all of the nuance that this guitar offers in mm, basically more time that we have allotted to us. So let's talk about the basic recipe that's here with Builders Edition guitars and the specific specs on this guitar because there's a lot of exciting stuff going on. So like all of the other Grand Auditorium Builders Edition guitars from Taylor, this one features some very consistent uh, features. <laughs> so the armrest bevel is one of them, okay? The cutaway bevel with the compound carve that blends the cutaway into the heel is another. All of the binding has been chamfered off. The wing bridge is softened and uh, it has this silent satin finish which has been consistent on all of these guitars. The whole idea here is to make a guitar that is ergonomic, that is comfortable to hold, to play, to hug, so to speak. And this guitar and all of the Builders Edition guitars really succeed in that. You know, a really great instrument, whether it's a guitar or a brass or woodwind instrument or anything really, should be an instrument that in the, in a, in the best way kind of becomes transparent, it kind of disappears, and it helps your performance as a musician rather than hinders it. It doesn't get in the way, it's there to allow you to play the way you want to play. And comfort, ergonomic comfort when playing an instrument really goes a long way in accomplishing that. Before we started rolling, Josh, who's normally behind the camera, our man Squatch back there, he was talking about the fact that this guitar and, and some other guitars, you hold them and you begin to play differently. And I believe that that's a big, a big reason for that is the comfort that you have with the instrument. So now let's talk about some of the other design features going on this and the sound that you're going to get. So it's got the dark edge burst finish, which really complements the mahogany top and the back and sides made of beautiful urban ash. Now this is a big part of the story with this guitar and something that I believe Taylor will be doing going forward. It's part of their conservation efforts to ensure that there are good quality tone woods for all of the generations to come after us. But this one is very unique because it goes beyond their efforts to you know, uh, responsibly harvest and cultivate ebony and koa and mahogany and things like that. Urban ash is shamal ash and it's grown in Southern California in urban environments. It's beautiful, it's got some nice flame to it and a wonderful tone, which we'll talk about in a little bit. But these trees are trees that you probably have in your neighborhood or like them. They're trees that are put in place for aesthetic reasons, to filter out noise, to block wind, what have you. And these trees have to be removed uh, from time to time, maybe due to disease or the roots getting into plumbing or damage from storms. Most of the time, this wood is just turned into mulch. 
which really does seem like a waste when you think about it because there are all sorts of domestic woods that are fantastic for tone. Maple and walnut and Sitka spruce immediately come to mind as uh, tone woods that are native to North America. So here is a tone wood that Andy Powers, Taylor Guitars, working with an arborist there in Southern California has found that is typically present in urban environments removed for the reasons that I mentioned, but is suitable and actually not just suitable, but fantastic as a guitar tone wood. So they've been able to get a supply of these after going through tone woods and finding something that really worked and, and really had a fantastic look and tone to it. And of course, good, uh, suitability to build with. So this urban ash is really fantastic. I don't, I really want to emphasize that this is a unique tone wood that Taylor's introducing. It's an all new tone wood for them to use, but this isn't just a way of finding something that's cheap. Uh, this is finding something that's really good that has been overlooked. So the tone wood that, or the tone that you're going to get out of this combination, the urban ash sounds a lot like the best mahogany. It's got a woodiness to it and a really nice mid-range with a strong fundamental to the notes. You're going to get a nice bell-like chime and this wonderful low end and this warm mid-range, this woodiness that's there, but not a lot of overtones like you would get with rosewood. So again, it's a lot like the best mahogany that we typically get from uh, Central and South America. The top being mahogany pairs well with this because what it does is the things that we expect mahogany to do on the top of a guitar. It uh, basically compresses the dynamics, so it's going to even out all of your playing. It'll really round the notes out and again give you some of that dark warmth in the mid-range that we love so much about these guitars. Of course, that combined with the wonderful aesthetics, the feel from the Silent Satin and all of the other beveling, just really adds up to this beautiful builder's edition or director's cut from Andy Powers and Taylor Guitars. It's a wonderful guitar, and the fact that it's a builder's edition means that you can now get one of these wonderful guitars for less than $3,000, or basically right at $3,000. So for a few hundred dollars, or maybe a little bit more than a few hundred dollars, more than a 324 CE would cost you, you can get all of these wonderful features, um, and beautiful compass inlay, faux mother of pearl, I believe, and uh, Italian acrylic, which as I always say, is acrylic with an accent. So, we're going to put this through its paces. You can get an idea of how responsive it is and the tone that you're going to get out of it. So, stay tuned.
So there you have it, the new Taylor 324 CE Builder's Edition. Beautiful ergonomics, fantastic tone out of the combination of mahogany and urban ash with superior feel. Really a fantastic instrument. If you'd like more information about it, go to our website, alamomusic.com, where you have all of the specs there. You can pre-order this guitar now. It will be in our store probably in the next few weeks, probably early March, if you're watching this here in around February of 2020. But really great addition to it. If you'd like more information, again, visit the website, come in, give us a call today. We'd like to help you out because we wanna make sure that you find the perfect guitar to suit your needs. Now, if you are new to our channel, make sure you subscribe, turn on notifications, like our videos, keep playing your guitar because the best guitar in the world is the one you make music with. I'll see you next time.